Hey everybody and welcome to the video. This video I'll be talking about a plugin in serverless. This is lab number 9. In lab number 7 I taught you a very simple hello world, right? Lab number 8 we essentially learned how to add authentication to the API using an API key. Now this is lab number 9 which is interesting. So the goal or the ask here is, uh, you know, you made an API key but now you want to have multiple API keys based on customer. So for example, uh, we want to have a free API key so whoever wants to try our service can try it, right? But at the same time we want to impose restriction so that, you know, only making 100 requests per day or let's say 200 requests per day or month and the people who have paid for the subscription who already have signed up or paid we want to give them more number of requests, right? Better, be, better number of requests per month. How do you do that? This is called usage plan and it's very easy to set up and I'll be teaching you in serverless framework. So hopefully you guys uh, do see my screen. This is the um, plugin that I'm about to use, right? So this is essentially um, serverless plugin to add same API key for multiple serverless services to reuse the API key across multiple API gateway APIs. So what I mean by that, let me explain you. So here I'm defining my plugin, right? And now I'm saying that, hey, uh, my name of the key is dev free account. This is the value of the key, something secret. If you don't provide the value, so it will automatically generate one for you. And now I'm defining my usage plan. I'm saying that, hey, uh, before doing that, let me just deploy this. Uh, so what I'm doing is here, I'm saying usage plan. This is my free plan for customers who wants to use this one. It's a free API key that anyone wants to try. So description, I'm saying that free plan allows only limited number of requests. Quotas five per day. I'm just gonna give them five requests per day. Um, then throttling, I'm saying that, you know, 100, rate limiting as 10. So now let's deploy this. And as I said, you could have multiple API keys. So if you wanna make a premium API key for your customers, I'll simply copy paste uh, once again here on the bottom section and I'll, I'll rename this as maybe premium API keys and I'll change the number of requests. If you come to the documentation, they have a brief detail on how to use this. As you can see, this is essentially there, you know, how you can define throttling, limits, quotas, then you can have multiple plan, you can use a usage plan. So you could define all these in a very nice way, uh, can come and read more on their documentation. But let me show you a demo, right? So I'll deploy my stack, first of all, and try my best to show you. So it's loading might take a couple of minutes or seconds so uh, you can come here and always come to Google and say API usage plan and you can head over to the Amazon official website and always read more about usage plan uh, what e uh, each of these f uh, fields are right if you you know want to dive deep uh, come to Google and please uh, read a little bit more about here, you know, I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of good um, resources right, uh, there, right? So, yeah, so that's that. Now let's uh, focus on the demo. So this is a plugin that makes it easy to add essentially rate limiting and um, essentially, essentially quota. If you're trying to implement a quota, uh, I think this plugin adds a lot of value, right? Or or, or, or you maybe you just want to uh, prevent misuse of your API, right? Uh, so you could add these quotas there. So I think in which case this would be very, very useful. So I'll wait for the serverless plugin to complete the deployment and then I'll show you a demo, okay? I, I, I also was reading a nice article uh, where they, I think, uh, not sure where exactly it is, but I'll put the links if I find it. Uh, they had defined all the parameters, burst and, 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 and offset and all these stuff, not sure where exactly it is, but I'll try to put the links in the description uh, once I find it. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for the stack to deploy. Yeah, there are some nice articles you can come and always read more, right? So, almost there. Uh, as you can see now, it's uh, creating my stuff for me. Now, if I, if I copy this URL, Head over to my postman, remove the uh, space here. I'm making a request. Uh, I shouldn't be getting forbidden for sure. <laughs> let me see what's going on. Uh, let me see. It's just because uh, I'm making through a postman maybe. So let's see. 
so of course you can come here and change the quotas whenever you need right so api uh, usage plan and here you will see the one that i created called free plan right um, so here as you can see i've defined my number of requests uh, there and uh, i'm trying to make a request but not sure it's uh, seems like oh yeah there you go so now i got it back right so um, yep that's that's fine now let's see how many i've defined five right almost about five three four there you go limit exceeded right so now uh, you could easily define quotas and you can change so if you if you need to if you need an ability to change you can come to the ui or console and always change your right five per day come here click on edit you can change it or you can change using serverless framework right so thank you so much for watching the video i'll leave the lab in the description section below so for anyone who's trying to implement quotas or usage i think this plugin also will help you a lot once again thank you so much and see you guys in the lab number uh, i guess this is lab 9 so lab lab 10 will will learn more and more about serverless and api gateway